when the female narcissist gets older. There are differences between the female and male narcissist, especially as they start to age. Aging female narcissists come in all shapes and sizes and from all walks of life. But they all share one thing in common. They all think that they're better than most people. They think that they are superior. The more that they are enabled by the people around them, the more overt they become. The more entitled they feel. The older female narcissists get, the more masculine they become. The more aggressive and meaner they become. They become hungry for money and power. They become very bitter and resentful towards men. They see men as objects for them to exploit so that they can gain a benefit or advantage. They expect men to be these weak fools that they can control. The older the female narcissist becomes, the more experience they gain. Which means that they already know what they need to do to manipulate their targets. They already know what they need to do to keep you under their control. The older the female narcissists become, the more masculine they become. They have qualities and sometimes even an appearance that is traditionally associated with men. They become very dominant and controlling. They become noisy, loud and rowdy. They're always talking or making noise. They're always demanding something from you. They throw more temper tantrums. While when they were younger, they may have been a lot quieter. They may have been more self-composed. They may have been more reserved. But as the female narcissist gets older, they become less and less feminine. And they become more and more masculine. The reason why the female narcissist becomes this way is because they never had any good masculine examples. They never had a man that they could look up to or respect. Someone who was a strong male role model. They couldn't even respect their own fathers because they were weak. They were easy to overcome and influence. The female narcissist mother walked all over their father. And this set an example to the female narcissist of how to treat men. After seeing this their entire lives, the female narcissist lost more and more respect for men. They see men as something to exploit, something to use and take advantage of. 
while they then decided to take on the masculine role because they've never met a man who was big enough to put them in their place. And even if they did, society is set up to protect these women. It is set up to enable their dysfunctional behaviours. Court systems are set up to favour narcissistic women. In today's world, even these masculine men often don't have a chance. So it's really inevitable that at some point, the female narcissist has to take on a masculine role. Because now it's almost against the law to be a man. It's socially unacceptable. It's labelled as toxic masculinity. It is more acceptable for people to see a narcissistic woman walking all over a man, which many people would see as female empowerment. than for a man with boundaries to put a narcissistic woman in her place because now a lot of people would see that as abuse because of how we have been trained to see these situations a strong man is not valued or respected anymore it's seen as a bad thing And society enables narcissistic women to manipulate and control men who would otherwise be confident and strong. Men who would otherwise be leaders. Because these narcissistic women can't even recognize these qualities in a man anyway. If they spent enough time around a strong, confident man, they will eventually see him as weak. They will just bring him down and then blame him for the effects of their actions. They might triangulate him with other men and say that they are masculine, but that's just designed to manipulate you. It's just another way for them to demasculate men. To deprive them of their strength. A narcissistic woman is never going to build you up unless they can get something out of it. But in most situations, a strong, powerful man is only going to be a threat to a narcissistic woman because it could stand in the way of them getting what they want. They need you to be under their control. They need to have influence and authority over you so that they can then make the decisions and then get the result that they want. But you won't have this problem with a woman who is not narcissistic, with a woman who is more empathic. In those types of relationships, you can take the lead. You can be the man. You can make most of the decisions. But you cannot do that with narcissistic women. Because as they have aged, they have only seen what they consider to be more and more weak men. Men that should not be in control. Because they're basing this off of how they saw their father and how they saw their mother treat their father. So that is then how they see you. That is then how they treat you. 
when you are involved with an aging female narcissist, you will feel like you are taking on the role of the woman. You will find yourself becoming more and more submissive, fulfilling all of their demands. While before you got involved with a female narcissist, you may have been an alpha male. You may have felt strong and confident. But once you spent enough time around them, it weakens you and then they begin to see you as weak. There is only one way to deal with an aging female narcissist. Your only option is to leave because in their minds you're weak. And any attempts you make to demonstrate your strength will only be seen as abuse. It's a no-win situation. Your only option is to leave and find a woman who is not narcissistic. A woman who is more feminine. A woman who can see your value as a man. Because the aging female narcissist is never going to respect that. It stands in the way of them getting what they want. They see it as though women who listen to men are stupid, as though they're being taken advantage of. They don't believe that the man should lead because of how they saw their mother treat their father. When a young girl constantly sees their mother shouting at their father, disrespecting him, calling him names, she is not going to grow up to respect men. She's just going to see them as weak. She's going to see them as something to use and nothing else. It never used to be this way. Men used to be strong and in control. But now, times have changed. Now being a man is labelled as toxic masculinity. It's seen as a bad thing. So now instead of having women who are submissive to their men, we now have narcissistic women who are running wild, seeing men as weak, disrespecting men because of how they saw their mother treat their father. And because society enables this behavior to continue. The older the female narcissist gets, the more they begin to lose faith in men and their ability to be men. They just see it as though if you were so strong, you wouldn't be around them. You wouldn't tolerate all of the things they do to you. If the female narcissist has called you all sorts of names and even physically abused you, they're going to see you as weak and they may even tell you you're weak. They're not going to have any respect for you but like I said it's a no-win situation because even if you do try to display strength they're just going to see it as abuse and then they're going to call you the narcissist you're either weak or an abuser to the aging female narcissist. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you.
please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coached Inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.